Hi guys, in this tutorial I just want to talk to you about backhands. So everyone asks me loads of questions about backhands. It always seems to be the, the weaker point on the court. You don't ever get the chance to practice the backhand. I think everything you do when you're knocking up in terms of beforehand, you never just stand there and hit backhand after backhand. So you don't get to practice as much. So here, things to think about if you can work with somebody or I mean there's even routines that we can talk about in later tutorials about hitting against the wall and different different exercises you can do to strengthen up your, your, your backhand play. But for this one, just get to think about the, the technique and how you actually play the shot. So, the most important thing to start with is to get your feet right. So you're standing in the right position. So you, when you turn to place to play the shot, you've got enough distance between you and the shuttle, and you've got a nice stable base as well. You don't have to be too narrow so you're off balance. Too close to the shuttle, you can't get enough swing. So the key is to plant the racket foot far enough away and slightly behind your non-racket foot. So you're in this position here. I'd also say when the shuttle's in the air, track it with the racket. Track the shuttle with the Track the shuttle with the racket as it comes across, watching it, keeping your eye on it. Obviously, you, your back's turning to the, to the net, you're watching the shuttle, just relaxing the fingers, let the racket head drop slightly, but keeping the elbow up. And then it's this looseness of the fingers. Fingers are key in badminton. Loose and then squeeze. So you, you're getting this turn of your forearm, okay? So your pronation is this way, you're getting your supination going this way, as you supinate out with the forearm. But again, that all comes if you grip too tight, which so many people that I coach tend to do. They tense up on a back and they can't get any snap. It always tends to be shoulder and arm doing the work. You just want the fingers to do the work. So if I grab a shuttle and I'll feed it up myself, you can just see the looseness of the fingers. Okay, you can see that goes play the shot for that one. Fingers are off the handle, squeezing to get the power and the tap. And that's the key, that looseness of the fingers, also obviously the timing as you go to hit. But in a match, I probably wouldn't loosen it as much. This is just to over-exaggerate to show how it's that thumb pressing on the handle and the fingers squeezing to get that snap. I mean, a good practice for this is to stand still. Imagine you're playing your backhand. I'm trying to generate that racket head speed as quick as you can to get the strength in this forearm area. So what we'll do next, I'll just show you a few backhands in, in a, a practice routine 